Hey everybody, today is part two of the name project and we are going to be adding in some sprites, <clears throat> having them change costumes to show animation, and then having them move across the screen. This is what we did last week. We programmed each one of these letter sprites to move on the screen and make a sound. <clears throat> we organized them any way that we really wanted to. This is a witch theme or like a witch's house theme. So I'm going to take a look at the sprites for today. Let's see. I'm going to move this over here. Let's see. Oh, we could use a broom. Okay. We'll do that. Let's see what else we can use. Hmm. Let's type in witch. Okay. We have a witch. Okay. So let's start with these two things for today. Okay, now the first thing is I'm going to size down that witch a little bit. And I'm going to click on the witch here. I'm going to click size, and I'm going to go down to 75. Same thing with that broom. I'm going to click on the broom, click size, and I'm going to go down to 75%. All right, let's first talk about animation. Let's check out their costumes. So here's the broom. It only has one costume. So if I want to show some animation, I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to hit duplicate. And... What's cool about this is <clears throat> I can ungroup this and I could do some things with it. I could kind of make it look like it's moving. Okay, I have little bristles that I can click on here and move. Okay, and I'm moving these just to make it look like it's having some movement. We might have that one hang off of there. This one come and hang off of there. It's, it's going to be subtle movements. They're not going to be very large movements, but they'll it'll show some change. And you can see I'm just trying to manipulate these a little bit. Okay, so not going to be much of a change, but it does look like maybe when she's going in the air, the broom kind of swooshes out behind her. All right, and I'm going to call this... I like to rename my costume, so I'm going to go to Broom 2, and I'm going to just name it Broom Large, so we know it's the large one. Okay, now let's go click on the witch, and oh, she has four costumes. Okay, so she makes different faces. Okay, so let's see what we want to do with this one. Hmm, that one, she just goes and smiles. This one, she kind of puts on a Funny face to a pouty face. Let's make her go from A to C. Okay, so I'm going to label C witch mad. Okay, and I'm also going to see what I can do about her movements here. Maybe we can adjust her arms. So that it looks like she's riding the broom or something. Well, let me hit undo for that. Maybe she could be grabbing the broom. All right, maybe we'll do something like that. Um, okay, we'll make her go back and forth. Let's just try to get her to move first. All right, let's go to our code now all right and let's oh too small okay so all right so let's work with the broom first now with this broom maybe we want it to be flying around and the, the witch is trying to catch the broom so there's a couple things that we can do here first we're going to have an event when the green flag is clicked okay let me zoom in so you guys can see this code better when the green flag is clicked, we are going to go to looks and we're going to pull out those two broom ones. Now they're both going to say the same thing. You have to change the second one to what you want it to turn into. So we're going to go broom to broom large. Okay. And you have to put some time in between it. One second. And then you have to put some time on the back end. We're going to change that to 0.5. 0.5, which would be a half a second. And then one more piece, we're going to add a forever block. 
Now, the reason we add the forever block is because we want this to happen the whole time. We don't want it to just go back and forth once. All right, so let's see what that broom looks like here when we hit the green flag. Okay, so you can see it's going in and out like that. Okay, now I haven't programmed the broom to move yet, but it's going in and out. Okay, let's go back here. Let's hit stop. Okay, and now let's see. So that allows the broom to just move back and forth. Okay, I am going to... All right, so then we're going to now grab another green flag. And now we're going to get the broom to move around. Now, if we want the witch to be catching the broom, then maybe we just do this. We pick a starting location. So maybe we'll pick the starting location here. Let's rotate it. Maybe 45 degrees. Let's see what that looks like real quick. Okay, good. I want it to rotate 45 degrees because I want to put it in her hands like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this in her hands like that. Okay? That's what the point in 45 direction means. Okay? 45 degrees. That's a good geometry lesson there. And then what we're going to do is have it start in that position. So we're going to need a go-to box right here. <clears throat> okay? And then from there, we want it to fly in random positions across the the screen. Okay, we'll make it five seconds so it doesn't go too fast. And we're going to have it point in different positions. So let's see what we can do there. Let's do if on edge bounce, that'll be good. So it won't go off the screen. And let's take a look at that now. That looks a little too slow, right? Yeah, let's fix that up. Let's go back to one. Let's try that again. Ooh, something's going on here. What do I have to do here? Hmm. Oh, I know. We need a forever block. Let's try that. There we go. <clears throat> Otherwise, it just glides once. That kind of looks cool. So see, we do the little problem solving there. And then when we hit stop and we do the green flag again, it goes back to that starting position. Oh, man, it's really <clears throat> whipping around. All right. So now let's go to the witch. So again, see no coat here for the witch yet. And just a reminder, you're gonna be doing whatever you want on your page. So it does not have to be a witch. It does not have to be her chasing a broom. It could be whatever you'd like. And really what we're looking at is trying to get the sprites to change costumes and then to move. So we are going to go to events, green flag. Let me zoom in on this for you. This part will be the same for you. Looks, we're gonna go two witch costumes and remember one of them is going to be a and then one of them is going to be the mad witch and then control we're going to do one second one second change that to 0.5 you want yours to go faster make it 0 0.2 0 0.1 all right and a forever block and now let's see the witch just basically go from one position to the next, okay? See, she's going from that position to this position, okay? And if we wanted to go faster, we would adjust this time. So now that's one block, but remember, we want her to now move around a little bit. So let's do that. Let's grab another event when the green flag is clicked and let's have her move around motion we're going to start her in that position so go to x where she is and then let's say we want her to go into a random position okay then we need a forever block 
Well, first we need a if on edge bounce, a forever. And then let me just put this part in there. Okay, now let's see what happens. She looks like she's running around trying to catch the balloon. She's flying around trying to get that balloon. She's reaching out trying to grab it. All right, so what did we learn today? We learned how to have our sprite switch costumes like this, and then we learned how to program them to move around with this block. Give that a shot, okay? We'll leave this code up on the board so you can take a look at it. The code on the left here will most likely be very similar to the one you're going to use. The one on the right, this one here, again, can be what you want the, what you want the, uh, the uh, sprite to do. It doesn't have to be random. It could be a set position, too. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.